The MacU.com provides in-depth video tutorials on how to use your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Start a free trial today to see all the lessons on topics like Mac OS Sierra, iOS 10, the Photos app, Safari, Calendar, and many more. Continue watching for a free lesson on how to add and edit event details in the Mac Calendar app. In this lesson, we're going to look a little closer at adding details like repeating events, alerts, and invitees. Let's take a look at the lunch meeting event. If this is something that occurs regularly, I can set that up in several ways here in the repeat menu. If this is a weekly event, I can quickly set that here. Now if I move to month view, every Thursday has a lunch meeting scheduled. I can quickly remove all those future events by changing the repeat setting back to none. Let's say this meeting happens on the last Thursday of every month. That's a little more complicated, but it can still be set up here in the repeat menu. First, I need to select Custom, and then Monthly as the frequency. I could set a specific date each month it occurs on, but this event only happens on Thursdays. So I need to click here and set this to Last Thursday. Click OK, and now the lunch meeting is scheduled on the final Thursday of each month going forward. Next, let's add a couple alerts for the lunch meeting. First, I'll add one that occurs 15 minutes before. When I set that, I can now choose to add it to all the future lunch meetings or only this one. I'll add it for all of them. But since these occur only once a month, I might want an alert on the day before too, just so I don't forget about it until 15 minutes ahead of time. So I can click the plus button here and create a second alert. I'm going to choose custom for this one. And notice that rather than a standard message, which will pop into the upper right corner of my Mac like so, I could select to have an email sent to me, or have a specific file open. Having a file open up can be good before a meeting where you might need to look over some information in a certain document ahead of time. I'm going to set this as a message with sound, and set it to appear 18 hours before. So on the evening before each lunch meeting, I'll get an alert that it's occurring the next day. Next, let's add some invitees. Invitees can be added by name if they're saved as a contact, or by email address. I'll add Mike and another email address of mine as an example. Now over on my iPad, an invite alert pops up. Here it is in my calendar. I can either accept, say maybe, or decline. If I accept, back here in Calendar for Mac, that invitee is a checkmark placed next to their name, letting me know that they've accepted. Mike has a question mark next to his name because he is yet to reply. Next, we'll take a look at making shared calendars, which can be great in order to jointly coordinate group events between family members or coworkers.